Tonight on Last Chance Kitchen, an arena full of fans taste at Michelle's failure. Sorry. Can she rebound from a culinary air ball? Or will David block her shot at the finale? I'm trying not to panic. <laughs> this is Last Chance Kitchen, brought to you by Hidden Valley Ranch. I'm coming into Last Chance Kitchen ready for war, and I want to take off my competition one by one. Hey, Michelle. Hello. Hope for a little rebound today? Yes, I'm ready. David's the only thing standing in your way of making it to the finale of Last Chance Kitchen. All right, David. Even though I love Michelle to death as a person, and I know she's a talented chef, she's going down. I have to take her out. Michelle, were you surprised that you were eliminated? Yes. I think I'm good. Let's go, let's go. The problem I had with the ribs was just the way they were cooked. They just ate a little wet. Yeah. Listen, we had a lot of fun in the arena, but I, I certainly wasn't a fan of what you made. So I'm going to give you another chance to show me your best game day dish. Ah, look how our friends are here. Hi. Is that 30 seconds or 30 minutes? Chef, you've outdone yourself. Do we have any basketball fans here? Huge basketball. Okay, good. I love that basketball is such a fast-paced game, but it wasn't always the case. It wasn't until the introduction of the shot clock that really sped the game up. Each team gets possession of the ball for a limited amount of time before they have to shoot. So chefs, for your challenge today, just like on the court, you'll only have possession for 30 seconds at a time of something that you're really gonna need. It's a knife. Oh. <laughs> It is the only knife allowed in the kitchen today, so you can leave your knife rolls with me. <laughs> OK. Using someone else's knife is like kissing your sister. It's really weird to begin with, and then having it for only 30 seconds at a time, it's like instant fear. The referees over here, they'll keep track of who has possession. When your 30 seconds are up, you have to turn over possession of that knife. David, you're the king of the kitchen. You get to choose. Do you want possession first or second? I'll take second. He'll take second. I'll start on D. Let's start on D. <laughs> to show you that I'm still a team player, I'm going to pass you a little assist here. You may not always have a knife, but you'll have an entire suite of Hidden Valley Ranch at your fingertips to help your flavor game a little bit. OK. <laughs> you have 30 seconds on the shot clock. You have 30 minutes on the clock. And your jump ball starts now. You OK? Yeah, I'm fine. Go, Michelle! I hope she doesn't make pasta. Why? Because it's 30 minutes. Michelle, what are you making? I'm making pasta. Of course. Oh. Definitely think that making pasta is really risky. I'm trying not to panic. <laughs> if I can make pasta in 30 minutes, I know I'll be able to impress Tom with that. She's going to back in the pasta so it rests it right away. That's her for, secret for, weapon. For resting. What's he got? He's making a meatball. Oh, yeah. There's nothing that says game day to me like a meatball parm. I want to do a Mediterranean meatball with pomegranate tomato sauce, lavash cracker, and a goat cheese Hidden Valley Ranch mix. So far, no one's used a knife. I know. Smart. What you going to put with your pasta, Michelle? Like a really quick style bolognese. <laughs> What kind of ranch are you going to use? Something with some spice. I'm going to use it as, like, my finisher in a sauce. For me, chili totally screams game day, and chili is basically a lot like bolognese. Whose turn is it to use a knife? You're up. Good choice. You're, You're up. up. Can't touch yeah. it yet. Can't touch I know it. I won't touch it. Don't do it. Don't touch it. We'll Don't wait till it goes to zero. We will right blow right the horn right. on you. Please don't run Three, with it. Three, two, one. All right, <laughs> Oh, that pushed like 10 David, sweat ten seconds, out of my face. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm not doing that ever again. Please don't. Oh, it's all meaty. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay, I'm going to cut meat. 17 seconds with that knife. Seven seconds. Seven. You, gotta, you gotta put it down four, right away. Three. three. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. I kind of feel like my thought process is interrupted every 30 seconds. 
It's definitely throwing me off my game a little bit. Three, two, one. Watch those fingertips. Three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Such a gentleman. What a guy. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, thank you. You don't have to pass it out. You guys are You're so nice. cute. You're not the only nice guy around here, David. Uh, <laughs> she just wants the fan favorite vote. <laughs> 20 minutes left, guys. Three, Drop it right away, two, David. One. Whoa, you almost got horned. The real challenge is getting over how annoyed you get that you're not able to complete tasks. Uh, you're already fighting the 30 minute clock and now you're fighting a 30 second shot clock. 15 seconds. Heard. I'll always put milk soaked Italian bread in my meatball. What I would traditionally do is run it through with my knife, but I'm so frustrated right now with how often I have to pick up and put down the knife that I'm just gonna use my hands to break it up. David's just, he's over the knife. He's just tearing things. Oh. Hey. Okay. Having fun with this? This is fun. You game day pasta? Yeah, chili pasta salad. So what kind of pasta are you making? These are little ears. The uh, orchetti. Orchetti. Mm -hmm. I usually have a butter knife for this, Jeff. Uh-huh. <laughs> you like this technique? Yeah. It's all about the roll. It's good. OK. Hey, Chef. Dave, what do you got? So, a little ground meat. A little ground meat. When I think Sundays, I think meatballs. I'm from okay. Jersey after all, so. I hear you. Going a little uh, Middle Eastern, a little pomegranate, tomato with pine nuts. And then there's gonna be a little goat cheese, uh, Hidden Valley Ranch puree as well. Okay. And then I'm trying to get a lavash. A lavash. A lavash. Okay. I'm trying to anyway. So do you need a knife anymore at this point, or are you done? I think I'm done. Ah, okay. I need to get this lavash bread rolled and in the wood burning oven. Seven and a half minutes. Heard. You make bread in seven minutes, right? It's like really doable. I may seem like a hot mess, but this is like world record lavash bread making right now. How are you feeling, Michelle? My water's not boiling, so I'm kind of freaking out. It's like the first thing I put on. I'm sorry. <laughs> to get sent home for pasta would literally break my heart. See my water to boil? I'm just praying to all the pasta gods right now that this water boils in the next 30 seconds. How can I make this boil faster? Two minutes, chefs, two minutes. My dish should be really smoky. Nothing like bolognese and a little ranch. Please boil faster. How's it looking, David? It's good. It took on a lot of challenges. I think I pushed the envelope with what I can get done, and I'm really happy with this dish. Feeling Steph Curry with the shot right now. 30 seconds! Game day chili? Yeah. I made handmade orecchetti with a chili ragu and sweet peppers. I wanted the same flavors of chili in the style of a bolognese or ragu. Mm -hmm. So I put the ranch dressing at the end to try and like richen it up. How was it with the, with the knife going back and forth? That was really fun? challenging. Not was fun. It? No, not shot. It looked like you were having fun. It looked like no? fun, yeah. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, David. Hi, Chef. How was that? You look like you're sweating a little bit. <laughs> Got a goat cheese Hidden Valley Ranch mousse. Some meatball and a lavash cracker to mm -hmm. kind of be the bread. So how was it going back and forth with the knife? It was fun at first, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, seeing Michelle across, is, uh, she's a tough competitor, so it was fun. Great, so, thanks. Thank you, Chef. Well, Chefs, that was fast-paced. That was great. Listen, there is a lot on the line here because whoever wins, you have one more challenge, and then you're back into the competition. And I know you guys have come really far, and you're both dying to get back in. But these dishes were both really great game day dishes. And considering that you only had a knife for half the time, it was really amazing the amount of work that you got done. I love how you both worked the Hidden Valley Ranch into the dish. Michelle, you made a, a chili. I like the way you worked some of that bacon and ranch flavor in there. It gave it some smoke. You got some freshness from the peas. Your pasta was really great. A comment that I had was it got a little oily. David, I love that you got lavash made. Your goat cheese mousse, actually, I liked a lot. It was like a separate dip that you can use for the lavash. What I got, and I don't know if the knife is part of the problem here, but as I was biting into the meatballs, I got a big chunk of what I think is challah. 
So these are both good dishes, but they're both a little off. With that said, I have to say the winner, you're one step away from getting back in there. Michelle. <laughs> David, thank you. Thank you, Chef. Leaving Top Chef, it's bittersweet for sure. It's unfulfilled 100%. But right now, I feel grateful. I'm grateful for the people I've met, the relationships I've formed, and I'm excited about what's ahead. So Michelle, that was really impressive. Thank Listen, you. Making pasta, making the chili, and getting it done in 30 minutes was really great. Ready for one more? I'm so ready, let's do it. Ready? Let's go. Feels amazing. I feel more confident than I ever have and closer than I ever have to winning Top Chef. So somebody you wanna beat? <laughs> It would be kind of nice to have a little one-on-one -on -one with Sarah. A little one-on-one -on -one with Sarah. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see. Okay. See you next week. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, cheerleaders. <laughs>